Hey guys, it is less than a month until Hot Rod Drag Week and this year there are more Aussies competing than ever before. So let's take a look at who's going. Hot Rod Drag Week is one of the toughest streetcar events in the world. You have to race your car at five tracks in five days and drive your race car from track to track. No car trailers, no support teams, it is just you and the road. This year they sold out 400 entries in just six minutes and there are more Aussies competing this time than ever before. Leading the charge will be John Ferrone in his Aussie Charger. That thing's got a 572 big block twin turbo. It's run low sevens at over 200 mile an hour. It is a beast. And this will be his seventh drag week. Street Machine's own Mark Arblaster has done more than a few drag weeks as well. He's back in his poor 440 Valiant. The thing had a 5.3 litre LS in it last year with a single turbo running in the mid nines. He's looking to dip into the eights this year. Of course, Harry Haig will be back with the Aussie Chevelle. It's a crowd favourite with those twin turbos high above the hood. That thing ran mid to high eights last year and finished with a high eight second average for the whole week. And Harry's also bought the Drag Week wagon from last year. Dan Nissen built this thing for charity, auctioned it off at the end of Drag Week. Harry bought it without a motor, so Robbie Abbott is going to drop a 540 cube big block into this thing, and those boys are gonna have a hell of a time. Brian and Diane Jensen are back with their hatchback Tirana. That thing's got a big block and it runs consistent nine second quarters. They've finished top three twice in their class and they're looking to pick up a third trophy this year. Jamie Farmer's also back in his Dirty Bird Falcon Ute. That thing's got a Turbo LS and they struggled a bit last year until day five where they turned it around and got it back into the eight second zone. But Jamie had a very successful drag challenge weekend earlier in the year and that thing should run mid eights at drag week. Aussie top fuel pilot Richie Crampton is going to be back with a 57 wagon. That thing's got a twin turbo LS in it, but unfortunately race commitments mean that uh, Richie's not going to be able to finish out the whole week, same as last year. But those boys will be looking to have a bunch of fun in that car and it runs deep into the eights. Brenton Galt has done drag week before with his dad in the 69 Camaro. Unfortunately, that car's now in Australia, so they're building a new car, a share with a 540 cube big block and that will be a lot of fun. We've also got a few newbies coming to Drag Week this year, the first of which is Tanya Thompson. She'll be the first Aussie female to compete at Drag Week and her Turbo VH Commodore is a genuine eight second street car. And then we've got a couple barras, both owned by guys named Ben, first of which is Ben Neal, AKA Mechanical Stig from Mighty Car Mods. He owns the Toyota Cresta now, and that thing has run a low nines with a built barrow in it. He's looking to go eight at Drag Week. And then there's Ben Paganoni with the FPV F6 Ute. This thing runs deep into the tens and it is the latest model car we've ever seen go from Australia to America. It's gonna be really interesting to see what the Yanks make of this thing. Of course, we're gonna follow all the Aussies this year and it's gonna be complete mayhem with over 400 cars and four tracks that have never been used for Drag Week before. But you'll be able to follow all the action here on Street Machine.